Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel Tech with Eddie which is all about integrating your IoT devices with your preferred home automation ecosystem. If you haven't seen my past videos, it's all about using platforms like Hoops or Homebridge and their plugins to integrate these devices. The most important thing here is to get the same rich home automation experience by spending less. That's the idea. So do take a look and don't feel shy to hit that like and subscribe button to follow along. So on my continuous quest to integrate my not so certified IoT devices into Apple HomeKit, in today's video, we will pair Zigbee devices from Xiaomi, Akara and Apple HomeKit using the Convy 2 Zigbee gateway installed in my Synology NAS and expose these devices to Apple HomeKit via my Hoops box. Now, this is a continuation to my last week's video on installing the Convy 2 using a Synology NAS. If you haven't seen that, here's the link and do watch it before we go into this video. Now, the Combi 2 supports a long list of devices from various brands. Plus, it's updated with new ones on a frequent basis. The good part here is if the device is in the list, all you got to do is put into pairing mode and boom, the device is recognized and added to your Zigbee network. No complex copying and pasting of codes. They literally keep it si simple. And to show that simplicity, we will demo in this video with three brands. Now for all this integration to work, we will need obviously a Zigbee gateway. In my case, I'm using the Convy 2. Second, the Zigbee devices. In my case, I'll be using the Sonar switch, the Akara sensor and a Xiaomi button. Your preferred home automation platform. In my case, I'll be using the hoops out of the box. Now I've broken down the video into three parts together with the timestamps in the description. They are one, the device integration, two, the plugin install, and three, the plugin configuration. So let's not waste time like I always say, and let's jump into this tutorial. This is the uh, default uh, web page when you log into your Foxconn uh, Gateway web app. Uh, this was the last one that we uh, were uh, in our uh, installation guide. So let's uh, get into this uh, web app, put in your password that you had used, login. And uh, one of the things you want to do over here is uh, already click on search lights and make sure your all of your lighting fixtures, buttons, switches or sensors are into pairing mode, uh, pending from uh, vendor to vendor. Uh, there are five uh, flashing modes or they will rapidly flash. So let's uh, hit on search lights. And while this is going on, uh, please make sure your, your fixtures are into flashing mode. So it has found the uh, sonar off switch. And I'm also putting the uh, Akara as well as the Xiaomi button into pairing mode. Uh, what I've noticed it, you won't see it over here that they are available. Um, they normally show up into the web page. So let's do one thing. Let's uh, uh, complete this process and let's go and see what we can, uh, what is available in the application. So let's proceed. And uh, what we want to do is go to lights. We can see that it has detected the uh, plug. So if you click on it, your light should flash five times. If you go to switches, it has detected the Xiaomi smart switch. And if you go down, uh, you can also see that it's detected the uh, sensor as well. Uh, let's go back to the lights and you can quickly uh, rename them. And once you are renaming it, it also flashes the lights. And we can also add it to a group. Same thing for the switches. Let's go to the switch. We can also rename them as together with the sensor as well double click so once that's done if we go to the main page uh, you can add in a new group and you can name it as living room and within this one you can edit it and manage lights add the lampshade save and you can go to the main page. So uh, you can also add in scenes, schedulers, switch editor. 
So this is where we are for the uh, devices that we've already added to the um, web application. We've got lights, switches, and sensors. Now, uh, the next one is what we'll do is we'll get all of these devices into Apple HomeKit. This is the Hoops interface. Let's log into, into the Hoops interface. And uh, let's go to plugins. Let's search for Tcons. And uh, this same plugin is also applicable to the Philips Hue bridge. So if you have a Philips Hue bridge, you can also add this uh, same steps to that. So what we'll do is let's hit on install and uh, wait for the installation to complete. Once the installation is complete, the next step is to uh, configure the uh, plugin. Uh, to do this, to do this, we will need one value of adding the user variable over here. Okay. So uh, to do that, uh, let's go into the next step of uh, configuring the uh, plugin. Once you go into your Foxconn app, all you got to do is go to the gateway, go to advance and click on the authenticate app. Okay. But before you click on the Authenticate app, let's go back to the Hoops interface through the logs and uh, uh, we should see a message that comes after this. So uh, let's go and click on Authenticate app. So whilst this is going on, let's go back into the Hoops. So there we are, we have this, the user information. Let's copy this value. Let's go to the plugin tap on configuration and let's paste it over here and let's hit save changes so once the changes have saved if you go on to the desktop you see that the service is running okay and uh, now let's go into the configuration of the plugin and there are multiple values to be uh, updated so let's say for example if you want to get the groups into the uh, into apple home kit you can do that here um, but we will go down to the lights so let's enable the lights and also let's enable if you want to enable the rooms and the scenes you can do that as well you can also enable the scenes as switches and uh, let's expose the sensors as well so once that is done, let's hit save. Now once that's completed, let's open up the Apple Home app. And uh, we should see some switches already available. Uh, if I tap on my lampshade, I should see the lampshade coming on and off. Uh, this is this the, the gateway, so uh, there's nothing much you can do over here, it's more like information, so you can turn it off and uh, leave it as it is. And another thing you can see is the uh, button. So you can see the table switch and uh, you can add in an action. So let's say add and you can set scenes or you can also uh, set in the uh, switches for particular devices. So that's with the switches now uh, you can also see the sensors so there are two motion detect you can the is as uh, a light sensor as well as uh, you can use it as a motion detector so you can uh, has a dual purpose um, you can also set in automation so add an automation sensor detected and you can uh, trigger that as well so uh, basically uh, it's a very handy uh, usb device and uh, yeah this is what uh, it can do finally there we are collaboratively we have installed and configured the zigbee devices from xiaomi akara and sonoff into apple homekit using the conv2 zigbee gateway 
together with my hoops bugs. To continue with these videos, in our next week's video, we will integrate the same Zigbee devices using a SmartThings Hub and then take them over to Apple HomeKit using a plugin via the hoops. So stay tuned for that as well. Now to keep all of this going, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button because that's the motivator, that's the real driver, the more the merrier for bringing all of this content for us. And if there's anything I can help with, don't feel shy to leave a comment down below. And not forgetting the developers out there who make all of these plugins and make all of these solutions possible for us. So please go visit their GitHub page and do the, give them a star because that's their motivator as well. If you're looking to get your own hoops out of the box, I've got the link in the description that helps with the channel as well and uh, do get one. So until the next time, stay safe, have a nice day, cheers and happy automation.